Hi and welcome to another CraftyCAD.com video. In this video I'll be showing you how to draw up this guitar body shape. Um, I'll be doing that to demonstrate a few tips and tricks on circles, arcs and snapping to their tangents. Um, so I'll be doing this in the free, CAD, free version of the CAD program DoubleCAD XT which you can download from DoubleCAD.com. So to get started with I'm just going to draw a rectangle which is the approximate overall size of my guitar body. So I'm going to draw this using relative coordinates and I'm going to make this one 365mm in the x direction and 480mm in the y direction. So that will be the overall size. Now I'm only going to draw half of the guitar and then mirror it. So I'm going to draw another line vertically through the center of that box and then use the trim command to cut off that side. Now you can see there's a, a difference in how far these curves actually stick out from the guitar body. So I'm going to assume that this top part here is 270mm wide and the bottom part we'll say is 360. So I'm going to draw a line, just sort of an arbitrary length from the top and I'm going to move it out and into the length box I'm actually going to type in 270 divided by 2. So double CAD will do the calculation on that and draw this line half of 270. So that saves me a bit of math. Um, so we'll start drawing the um, curve. So we'll start with this top curve up here. Just before I draw this first arc I'm actually going to draw a line, a vertical line just from the end of that line we've just drawn. So this will give me my tangent lines for this first arc. So I'm actually going to draw this as a circle and trim it down later just because I find you get a bit more control using circles. So if we go over to the circle tool on the left and click the mouse button and hold it down and then let it go we get all of the options for drawing circles. So we'll be using the ones with the tangent snaps. So you can see there's a couple of different options here. To start with I'll use the tan tan radius circle. So this one here you pick two lines to which the circle will be a tangent and then you type in the radius. So first line will be this vertical one and then the second line will be this top line. So you can see that snap the circle to those two tangents. Now I'm going to make this circle let's say 100 millimeters radius. So that gives us our first corner there. Um, I'm going to repeat the same process with the bottom. So using the same type of circle, tan tan radius, I'm going to do this bottom line and this vertical line. Now this is going to be a bit of a bigger circle so I'll make it 155. So that gives us that surface there. Okay so to do this little infill curve we've got a couple of options. We can draw another circle using tan tan radius or we can have a look at some of the arc options. So I'm going to go click and hold on the arc and let go and you can see there's a bunch of options under the arc. Um, what we want to do here is an arc with tangent to two entities. So I'm going to click arc tan to two, uh, click my first circle, click my second circle and click to define my radius. Now after I click it asks me which side of the arc I want to draw. So I'm going to click on the right hand side to get this little input. So now I can use this little arc and the trim command and the rectangle I drew originally to get rid of the other the, the unnecessary parts of those circles. If I delete those lines we're left with one half of our guitar shape. Now I'm not really digging the way this curves around so what I want to actually do is go back over to my circle and I'm just going to draw a circle at about 40 millimeters and I'm going to move it just somewhere in, in here just so it's not quite touching those two curves. Now I'm going to draw a line that runs from the tangent of this curve to the tangent of this circle and another one from the tangent here to the tangent here. So if I go over to the line tool, click and hold, I get line tangent to two arcs. Click my first arc, second arc and repeat that command. So that's given me a line that runs from the tangent. So I can use those two lines I've just drawn and the trim command 
to trim all the unnecessary line work and now I will trim again using these arcs to get rid of the rectangle shape and now I want to mirror this shape of the other side. Before I do that I'm going to turn this into a polyline. So if I go up to modify and join polyline I can click all the elements around my shape and then down in my command line I'm going to type in F J P. Now you can see here you've got all the options. The capital letters in your options um, are shortcuts. So if you wanted to do one step back, you just type in OSB. Or to finish, you type in FJP and hit enter. So that's turned those into one object, and I can use the mirror command to flip those around. I delete that central line, and there you go, that's the outline of your guitar body. So I hope you found this useful and learned something from it. Um, feel free to drop me a line or leave some feedback or comments. Um, stay tuned for more videos coming.